So the original intention with this video was to upload it actually yesterday. My plans did not turn out as planned. Um, but yeah, let's get on to this video. And I will say now, I actually get to record at my desk. If I just so decide, which I do decide because this is a way nicer angle than anywhere else in my room. If you can see there, that is a guinea pig cage. It was sitting here, looked terrible here, but uh, I got a, my I got a new dresser in that spot, and so that's where that's gonna go. And uh, yeah, I, I I like this setup way more. I mean, it's nice to record right there, and I probably still will record right there for movie reviews because this is this right here is a media tower, so it has majority of my movies, and then right here is more so for books but i have more movies than books so it's kind of stretched out to become a movie shelf and that has also has books on it just like this is a cd shelf uh, or a movie shelf that also has cds on it so uh you know and i also like uh if you can see it there uh, let's pull you out you can see this here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out where to put you. Right there. That's good. Good, 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 good. Okay, we're gonna make sure that doesn't fall. Okay. You can see this right here. Uh, this is you know, my Stranger Things Dungeon Dragon set. Uh, this is gonna be put on the wall. This is, again, art. I don't like Pokemon. But this is like parody art of Pokemon from uh, this. Uh, Spirited Away, this is no face from that movie. Fantastic movie. I thought it was funny about it on convention. But yeah, I'm not, so this is just gonna sit here on top of my Blu-ray player. And, um, you know, it's gonna sit there, and it's gonna look nice there. And I really like this. Um, but, let me pull this out too. Okay. Okay. This is a 42 poster. Um, so, uh, over the weekend, I actually went to a yard sale, or not went to, I was involved with the yard sale. I actually sold some of my stuff, and my aunts, uh, they, they were selling stuff too, and so, you know, uh, my cousin, he no longer had room for this poster, he didn't want it, and so, I was like, heck yeah, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put it right there, up top, um, I think it's gonna look right there, I'll do a video on the second channel talking about it. But the main reason I brought you over here is I really think these war games where they were all in my closet and um, they didn't necessarily fit on my bookshelf. This one did okay, but I don't know. I didn't want this there. And also I was going to get more Funkoverse, so you don't want a million Funkoverse to fill up one shelf, you know what I mean? But there's the Monopoly down here of Stranger Things, and then you got my Dungeon Dragons thing, and it's on top of my Blu-ray player. I think it all looks nice. Um... Yeah, and then this is, whoa, 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 jeez Louise, I hate when that happens. Um, it's the camera just falls sometimes. This is my Millennium Falcon. Uh, this actually dropped to 43 bucks on Amazon, so if you really want one of these, uh, it is cheaper than what I paid for it. We paid about 70 bucks. Also, for 75 bucks, you can get a uh, package deal with a Smuggler's Bounty Box. <laughs> Uh, I believe it's the Cloud City one, and that's 75 bucks on Amazon if you really want that one. So that one's pretty cool. Um, also, I got my R2-D2 popcorn bucket. He sits here, and I really like this setup. I think it's really cool. Now, if you can see it here, um, let's get out of here. This is uh, Ultraman. This is a Netflix series that I've been watching. I'm almost finished with it, and I'm planning to do a review. I'm on the episode 11 out of 13 of one season, so uh, I'm going to review the first season. I'm not sure if this is getting a second season. I just found out about the show. Uh, it did not just come out. It came out in 2019. I didn't know. Um, I was never into Ultra. I never watched Ultraman until those... What the heck? Um, from those, um, Milk Creek sets came out, and they came out last year. Um, but this is Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated, and I'm also watching that series. I'm on season two, episode 12 out of 26. Um, 
And so I'm on the final season. I'm going to watch the whole series and maybe do a video on it. I, I haven't decided yet. Uh, like I said, I'm not pressuring myself to do videos right now. Um, and I'm really excited for that show. Uh, I, I really enjoyed this show. I'm going to do videos on that. I'm going to do a video on a lot of Scooby stuff, honestly. I'm really into Scooby-Doo right now. Um, so we're going to come over here. If I can get this chair to go over the carpet because this computer chair does not want to slide today. Okay. It gets stuck on the carpet, so I gotta slide it over here. And then we're gonna. Yeah, there we go. I'm also still watching through Ultraman. Uh, I have three discs. I think I'm on episode 15 out of. 39 so I'm about somewhere halfway through it something like that uh, I'm enjoying the show And I'm gonna I'm gonna watch through it all pretty soon here It's fun to watch but you know, I'm just I got other shows. I'm prioritizing right now I'm having a lot more fun with I got the original Scooby-Doo. I still need to watch I have some other things I need to watch uh, I'll tell you this with Disney plus I kind of just stopped watching it honestly lately I've uh, been using Netflix more because all the shows I kept up with on Disney Plus have now ended and they don't have enough original shows for me to go, okay, well, I want to keep watching this. So I just kind of dropped it. I like Disney Plus, just kind of stopped using it so much. Uh, I moved on to other streaming services and things. I'll get back into Disney Plus at some point. Uh, probably next Friday because next Friday, Hamilton drops. Um, I actually thought, uh, from what I understood, it was July 31st that that movie is supposed to drop. But I guess it either moved or I misread the information. It is dropping July 3rd. I'm so excited for the Hamilton movie. Um, it's a great play. I'm going to watch it. I'll do a video on it. And, um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. I still have a bunch of other movies here I need to watch. But, like I said, not pressure myself to do videos. Um, and turn, now I will say this there will be fewer hunting videos uh, over the next few days because uh, my chair uh, there are tires on it and the tubes popped and so I need new tubes um, I will still be able to go out to the theater uh, this Friday which I I'm pretty dead sure they're reopening uh, this week and I, you know, I'll be doing a video about that probably and when that happens, uh, so I, you know, I won't be getting new tubes in for over a week, uh, because they're coming through the mail. And so, yeah, I won't be going out to places like Walmart and doing hunting videos as much, unfortunately. But I, I still will be, you know, recording videos and stuff. And I, I, I'm done ordering things for right now. I'm going to order probably some stuff next week. But, um, you know, I did a 10-inch Baby Yoda unboxing. I did a Black Series and if you were curious onto my thoughts of the comic that I bought in the Baby Yoda Black Series video, I actually re read the whole comic and it is, it is okay. I did a review on it on my second channel, uh, I believe. And so you can watch, you can watch that video. Uh, not a bad comic, I guess, but um, just not what I really wanted out of the story it's not what i thought it would be let's just say that um you can hear more of my thoughts that of that in a different video um and then i also did a review for my little pony the movie probably going to go through that whole series again and do season by season reviews on my second channel uh because i am a barone I know I just ruined my street cred right there, but you know, not like I had any to begin with. So, and then also I got Scooby Doo on Zombie Island uh, review out my second channel, and I will be watching Scooby Doo Return to Zombie Island on my second channel uh, at some point. Not sure when, but yeah, I got other movies I want to watch too. Um, but yeah, and since I'm gonna be stuck at home for the next few days or over a week, should give me a lot of time to uh, watch some videos. Or not watch videos, but um, you know, make some videos and watch some movies and stuff like that. Um, 
and maybe start working on some of my album reviews, which I really don't have to start working on uh, yet because my Kiss one just came out, and so probably in a couple weeks I'll probably really start working on that. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited about all that stuff. Um, all my stuff is been going good. Uh, let's talk about some news that I can't really put into a big video because there isn't that much to say about it. Animal Crackers was this animated film. You watch the trailer for it. it has Danny DeVito, E. McKellen, um, John Krasinski. I apologize if I said your last name wrong. Uh, Jim from The Office. That's who John Krasinski is. Um, and uh, they're they're all part of this celebrity voice cast for this movie. It's a very it has a huge celebrity voice cast. Um, and it had troubles finding distributors, had multiple production issues. And so, yeah, now it is dropping on Netflix this uh, uh, July 24th. Um, so I'll be checking that out when it drops. Uh, I'm, I'm excited for that. Um, so I'll be watching it when it shows up on Netflix. And uh, I'm also watching the Muppet series that I believe is still dropping July 31st. So I, I get, get, I'm super hyped for that. Probably will do some Muppet videos uh, in the anticipation for that. Um, but I might even just watch all six episodes or one. Well, I guess I guess Disney Plus drops on weekly, so you can't really binge a whole season at, on one night like I usually do. But I don't know. I am just gonna say this. I really like. Um, I really like the Muppets so I'm hyped for that I got a lot of things I'm looking forward to I guess um in terms of what I'm gonna we'll, we'll go see at the theater when they reopen uh, if you didn't know uh, sadly I, is it I don't want to say his name wrong so I don't want to say his name if I can't figure it out here um Ian Holm, uh, the original actor, played Bilbo Baggins, sadly passed away uh, Thursday of, well, Thursday of last week. And, um, yeah, I love Lord of the Rings, so they're showing the first one, as, so it kind of as a tribute to him. I'm going to go see the movie in theaters. Um, and so, you know, they're showing Space Jam for a dollar, and I'm going to go see that movie. And then right after, I'm going to go eat. And then I'm going to go see the first Lord of the Rings for five bucks. So basically six dollars for two movies. And then, uh, and then you know, my meal is like six bucks at the restaurant I go to, which is Freddy's. And so it's like 11 bucks for um, to get to be out late, see two movies, and, lo and dinner. I mean, that is incredible deal right there and I'm I'm super excited and I'm really happy I get to go do that um and of course you know over the next few weeks I'll be seeing what other movies are going to be playing and what I'll go see and I'll probably mention them every time in a surviving the coronavirus video I love going to the theater and um it's just a fun thing to do and uh you know I, I don't know <laughs> I can't, I can't wait. Um, so, you know, it's really nice because that Space Jam movie, it starts at like 3.30. So, you know, by the time it's probably done, I'll probably be out by like 5.20, something like that. Counting previews, all that crap. So it gives me enough time to go eat, then go get my seats early, sit in the theater for about 20 minutes, uh, be, you know, have my seat ready to go. Then I can go see The Lord of the Rings. And then, you know, when that movie's out, it'll be like 10 o'clock and then just go home and go to bed. You know, it seems like a good night to me. You know, you see Space, you see Michael Jordan and Bugs Bunny play basketball. And then you see an epic fantasy movie with magical rings, wizards, and hobbits. So, 
Um, but yeah, let me know if there's anything you're looking forward to on Netflix releasing this month or next month or anytime soon. Let me know if there's, you know, anything that you're just looking forward to on any streaming service. Um, just let me know.